Taylor Swift is reclaiming her old work. After her former record label sold it in a $300 million deal, Taylor is re recording her old albums to regain artistic and financial control of her material. Well, just recently, Taylor dropped a short film for her song All Too Well and a music video for I Bet You Think About Me. New music means new Easter eggs, and if you're a Swifty, then you know that Taylor loves including Easter eggs in her videos. So let's decode her new videos only in today's video. Hey everyone, what's up, and welcome back to BTS. I'm your host, Lindsay Ivan, and today we are looking at the top 10 Taylor Swift Easter eggs you might have missed in her music videos. But before we begin, let me know in the comments below are you guys a fan of Taylor Swift? Uh, fun fact I share the same birthday as her. Yeah, uh, with that being said, smash that like button because it helps us out, and we'll get on with the video. Starting off this countdown, we have the scarf. This is probably the most obvious Easter egg. It was featured in both her recent videos. In I Bet You Think About Me, we see Taylor Swift crashing her ex's wedding. In a scene, Taylor gives the bride a gift, and inside is a red scarf. The same red scarf was featured in the All Too Well short film. In All Too Well, we see Sadie Sink wearing a red scarf and taking it off and placing it on a railing. Towards the end of the video, we see an older version of her ex wearing the red scarf that Sadie left at his sister's house. The lyrics even go as so. I left my scarf there at your sister's house, and you've still got it in your drawer, even now. And apparently this is about Jake Gyllenhaal. The scarf she is referring to is the one that she was seen wearing on her outing with Jake and his sister Maggie. Years later, after their breakup, Jake was seen wearing what appears to be Taylor's scarf. There are tons of other easter eggs from that short film that has led audience to believe that it is indeed about her relationship with Jake Gyllenhaal. We'll talk about more of these shortly. Coming in at number 9, we have the wedding cake. Some Hawkeye fans have noticed that the cake in I Bet You Think About Me is very symbolic. First off, Taylor has a thing for destroying cakes. She did it in the Blank Space music video and the You Need to Calm Down music video. And again, in this one. What you may have missed though is the detail on the cake. The first tier of the cake features the numbers 13 and 26. 13, of course, is Taylor Swift's favorite number. 26 is present because the song is track 26 on red, Taylor's version. Other fans think that on November 26, Taylor will be releasing something else or announcing something on that day. So for now, we just need to wait to see if they're right. Continuing on, the middle tier has the design seen on the ring she wore for the cover of the album Red, Taylor's version. It also features the love ring design. That was the ring that Taylor apparently wore while writing the original Red album. And the bottom tier has a bunch of birds on it. That might be a nod to the shirt on the 1989 album cover, which also has those birds on it. It's just incredible how much detail and thought she put into this video. Coming in our eighth spot, we have Speak Now. In the music video for I Bet You Think About Me, fans pointed out that the storyline feels like the Speak Now music video that we never got. Speak Now includes lyrics that go with so. I am not the kind of girl who should be rudely barging in on a white veil occasion. Well, in the music video, Taylor crashes her ex's wedding. Continuing on, she talks about him marrying the wrong girl, and in the music video, we see Miles Teller, who plays her ex, second guessing himself. Who else noticed these references? Let me know in the comments below. Coming in at number 7, we have the red gift box. Before the release of the All Too Well and I Bet You Think About Me videos, Taylor posted a real teasing about it all. One of the things she posted was a pic of a red box with the caption, It's Red Season. Well, this red gift box was then seen in both videos. In All Too Well, there's a scene where Sadie is celebrating her 21st birthday. In the back behind her is the very same red gift box. In I Bet You Think About Me, of course, there's that scene where Taylor gives the bride the scarf in the same red gift box. We love the reoccurring themes. It's also fun to look for them in Taylor's videos. Moving on to number six, we have the kids table. In I Bet You Think About Me, Taylor shows up uninvited to her ex's wedding and decides to sit at the kids table. Well, people have a theory that that whole scene is symbolic. Her sitting at the kids table might allude to the fact that her ex used to treat her like a child. I mean, Taylor dated Jake when he was 29 and she was 20. Maybe that's why he felt this way. Not only that, but in the video she is seen goofing off with the kids. She puts two straws in her mouth and acts like a walrus. 
In another segment, she is drinking a juice box with the Flower Girls. It's a great scene. And if the internet sleuths are right and that was the meaning behind this scene, then damn, Jake. Wow. We are now at our fifth and halfway mark with the red ring. So I already mentioned how the cake in I Bet You Think About Me featured the logo that was seen on her red ring. The one that she's seen wearing on the album cover for Red, Taylor's version. It's not actually a red ring, it just says red. Kind of confusing. Well, the ring itself makes an appearance in I Bet You Think About Me. While Taylor is seated at the kids' table, she teaches the kids how to show their middle finger. On Taylor's middle finger is the red ring. So could this be a huge F you to Scooter Braun who owns all her masters? Maybe. Coming in at number four, we have the symbolic lighting. So, and I bet you think about me, there's a scene where Taylor dances with her ex, AKA the groom. As she does so, the lighting changes to blue. Why? Well, in the song Red, she sings, and I quote, losing him was blue like I've never known. And then when she leaves, the lighting turns gray because in the same song, she sings, missing him was dark gray all alone. I find it cool how she's referencing other songs in this music video. And shout out to all the fans who are noticing these references. Moving on to number three, we have his clothes. Here's another Easter egg that makes a nod to another one of her songs. So in All Too Well, at the beginning of the film, we see Dylan O'Brien wearing a plaid shirt. Towards the end, when Sadie is mourning their relationship, we see her in his plaid shirt. Well, in Last Kiss from Speak Now, Swift sings, and I quote, but now I'll go sit in the floor wearing your clothes. Again, and this is another reference to another song in a song. Pretty trippy. Coming in at number two, we have the two Jakes. Taylor is savage for this one, and I absolutely love it. So in the All Too Well short film, obviously Sadie is meant to be Taylor, and Dylan O'Brien is meant to resemble Jake. If you don't think so, then let me just highlight why. First off, Dylan was dressed like Jake with that beanie and his full bushy beard. Not only that, but let's take a look at one of the final scenes. Older Sadie was played by Taylor herself. Well, how about older Dylan? Well, we never really see his face, only the back of him. But if you look at the cast, older Dylan is played by a guy named Jake Lyon. Dude, Taylor literally got a guy named Jake to play Jake. She's my hero now. That's iconic. And in our number one spot today, we have the collab with Ed Sheeran. Y'all, Taylor and Ed might be collaborating again, and I don't know about you, but I'm excited. So in Taylor's music video for I Bet You Think About Me, at the end of the video, Taylor takes her two fingers and wipes the cake's icing. By doing so, it creates an equal sign in the cake. And what artist do we know that has an equal sign for their album? Ed Sheeran for his Equals album. So fans think that this was Taylor's way of revealing that the two will be working together for that album. Not only that, but Blake Lively, who directed the music video, tweeted out a pic of the cake with the equal sign and used some hearts and a playing card joker emoji. While Ed Sheeran revealed that he is working on a remix for his song, The Joker and The Queen with an American artist. It's gotta be Taylor, guys. It has to be. All right, guys, that's all for today's video. Let me know in the comments below what you thought about these Easter eggs. And now, speaking of comments, let's move on to our comment shout out portion. I'll be shouting out comments from the video, top 10 actors who were exposed by their fans. Bully V commented, hello, Lindsay, welcome to the team. I love you. Yes, hello, hi, welcome. If you wanna check out my personal channel, it's called Peach. You should check it out. It's great, it's a great time. Christina Harrell commented, Robert Pattison, heart, 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 heart. Uh, I'm sorry, but I was always uh, team Jacob. Sorry. Also, Taylor Lautner just got engaged. <laughs> and my heart is broken, because little me wanted to date him, but I guess not, it's not happening. And Mads Rock commented, Timothy Chalamet. Honestly, at first I was like, what's the hype about him? And now I'm like, whoa, Timothy Chalamet, okay. Anyways, guys, uh, hi, Timothy, if you're watching this, hit me up, just kidding. I'm not kidding, but anyway. Uh, all right, guys, that's all the comments I'm shouting out for today's video. Make sure to comment something down below for a chance to be featured in my next comment shout out. And as always, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel, BTS. I've been your host, Lindsay Ivan, and I'll see ya when I see ya. 10 Taylor Swift Easter eggs you might have missed in her music video. Ugh. Before the release of the All Too Well, and I... In the back behind her is that very red 
In the back behind her is the very 